Well, Roger, we got the test results back that we ordered, and uh, I'd like to have a frank conversation with you about some of the things that we found. Um, there are some other options available to us that I'd like to discuss. Now, with your insurance, that's going to be a little tricky, but I'd like to discuss with you some of those options. I'd also like to talk with you about time remaining and quality of life. green. It's not going to get any greener. Okay, okay, relax. relax. Seriously. You, you got to stay off the ludes. No, not you. No. Could you do five over? I mean, just five over. They, they won't ticket you for five over. Yes, sir. That'll be ten dollars, please. Say seven? Ten dollars, please. Oh, and uh, may you live as long as you want and never want as long as you live. God save the Queen. Elizabeth, too. Can I help you with anything, sir? Oh, no, hon. I'm just kind of looking around. Okay. Well, let me know if you need anything. I'll be right here. I appreciate it. Thank you so okay. much.
Encore, encore. That was awesome. Thank so you when did you start playing? Oh, long, 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 long time ago. It's clear you've been playing for quite some time. I haven't been playing for quite a long, 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 long time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I miss it. But... Well, it sounds amazing. I enjoyed it thoroughly. So can I have one for free? <laughs> oh, lovely. <laughs> I was waiting for that one. Yeah. Seaway Drive. No, sorry, uh, Brickwood Apartments. You sure? Yeah. Yeah, I used to live on Seaway. Yeah, sometimes it's hard to know where you're from. Oh, yeah, my, my wife kicked me out. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, it was a little while ago. Any kids? Yeah. Yeah, I got the the divorce papers yesterday. Well, I tell you, it's the guys are always the last to know, aren't we? I guess I could have seen it coming. Yeah, she wants full custody, too. Well, want and get are usually two different streets. Well, you better lawyer up. That's the word I hear. I don't see the point anymore. Ah, uh, you got a kid, you know. She don't need me. Take a minute, man. We'll sit and talk a bit. I got time. Nah, man. Just, just take me back to my apartment, all right? No. Nah. Well, this one's on the house, so I'm going to talk to you. I don't mean to butt into your life, man, but you seem like a nice guy, and I got time for you to talk to somebody. Just talk to me. Oh, you want to hear my sob story? Yes. I think you need to talk to somebody because you haven't talked to anybody. Look at that poppy up there. You a veteran? Yeah. Yeah, me too. You well, know, we got a bond there, brother. We got to keep it going. What's the deal? That's what started it all. You know, I got a feeling we all were. It hurt us. It hurt everybody that went over there, but some of us it really knocked us away. But we got to stick together. I mean, in there we had each other's backs, and out here there's nothing. I mean, you got if you got somebody that's been through it like I have and you have, we got to be able to talk to each other, and you got to be strong. I mean, you're, you've got a kid. To me, myself, that means so much. Because I've lost mine. And it's my fault. And you've got it right now where you can grab this and go with it. Sometimes it feels like... Like my daughter. It's like she don't have a father anymore, you know? Because I'm not... I'm not the same person anymore. And but you're still her father. No, man, she comes over. And sometimes I get the way I get. She, she looks up at me and she's scared of me. We gotta keep in touch. I want you to promise me that. I mean, hey, I'm a belligerent old son of a bitch. I don't give up and you're not worth giving up on. You got a little girl. You need help. This is step one. It really is. All right, man. 
I want you to keep in touch with me. I want you to promise me. Give me your word. Your word's all we got. Do it. Okay. Take me back to my apartment now? Yes. You gonna be all right? Yeah. Flag will stay up. Thanks. Has anyone ever told you that little pearl of wisdom that helped you get through your high school? I was so skinny in high school, my coach used to make fun of me in front of gym class, call me a zero. Wait, wait. wait. This Sorry. story involves sex. At a later date, okay? I haven't. Well, oh, then why are you telling it? Well, why are you always ripping on him about sex? Your last sex story involved a bottle of Italian dressing and a small All right, boys, time to rain it in. So we've got things to do, papers to hand <laughs> out, to complaints that. on the first page, on the flip side, Saturday. Availability, please. One gentleman in the house has been late three times in the past week. That would be a one Joe. Excuses, please. Bombing, bombing. We also have uh, extra trash in the back of cab 43. That would be... That would be uh, Lorenzo. <laughs> Lorenzo. That's what I understand your new cab name is. Chuck, I got a <laughs> Saturday availability. We're putting down some numbers. Because if you aren't there when I call you a little cabbie, you're going to be seeing one crazy ass bitch. Do you hear me? I know. I got it. I got it. I got Saturdays. I got it. I got it. Anybody else with that Saturday problem? Any other complaints we need to talk about here, gentle men? I've got a complaint. Yep. I want to know why Max is here. It's between yeah. Max and me. Oh, come on. We all have to be here. Yeah. This is yeah. bullshit. Yeah. What is this? Gentlemen, a new man in the house. His name is Ben. Say hi to Ben. Hi. Hello, ben. Roger, get to know Ben. You're going to be training him very oh, shortly. <laughs> no. Uh, what about Chuck? I mean, he's got Ooh, time. Yeah. Who here call says here. no to your queen mama? Only me. Only Roger. Ben, welcome. What do you have to say to these guys? Uh, it's nice to meet you all. I'm really looking forward to working with you. Yeah, if we all had that attitude, we'd be a better place, wouldn't we? Yeah, right. <laughs> Not for long. Let's listen to that. Roger, you got anything to say before we suit you up, get you flying? Mm, no, we'll talk. Any other complaints? Who needs to talk to me? Hey, Raj. Yeah, hold up a bit. Everything all right? Yeah, I, everything's okay, yeah. You sure? Yeah. You've been friends a long time. You know I'm there for you if you ever need me. Thanks, buddy. So, uh, thus begins the Magical Mystery Tour. We learn about Cab 101. We're both not too excited about it, I guess, but... Uh, you could say that again. Well, we're both forced into it, so we might as well make the best of it. I'll make it short and sweet, and, but it's stuff you gotta do. Uh, it's a job of using your head. Uh, you're basically in control of who gets in your car. Uh, some of the things I've learned that aren't in the books are uh, with your money. Uh, separate your big bills and hide them somewhere on you. A lot of guys put them in their sock. Why? Uh, you got to pay it back if you get robbed. Robbed? Oh, that's something that happens. Hasn't happened to me yet. I, I'm probably paranoid, but uh, uh, a lot of people have been. Uh, it's basically a pretty safe cab company, but you know, the town's changing. You, you can see about you. Oh, somebody's breaking into a car right now. But the, uh, if we have a casino here, 
that's going to make this job even more lucrative. Uh, it's also going to bring a whole new group of people in town, which you have to be able to judge them. After a while, you get regulars that you pick up, and uh, if you're good at it, uh, people will ask for you. It's getting used to it. You know, the car becomes basically what you live in. So far, you're not telling me anything I didn't know when I took driver's training. Great. Well, we'll get along just fine then, because I'm not excited about doing this either. I'm going to save a little gas here and uh, just pull over and we'll sit and talk a little bit. i got some more questions for you. So why do you want this job? Well, I mean, does it really make that much of a difference? Yeah, I guess to me it does. I, you know, you're a young guy and everything, and um, tell me something about yourself. I mean, you know, you seem like you're a pretty nice guy. I'm not mad at you. That's unusual. Yeah. Well, um. This daughter at home, and she's four years old now, and I haven't always been the greatest father in the world. And uh, I'm just, I'm, I'm trying to kind of step up to the plate now and be there for her like I really wasn't for the first couple of years of her life. You know, she she stays with her mom most of the time, and she's just crazy. She's got another guy every other week, so it's on me to be the, the stable parent now. And I, I want to be able to do that for her, you know? So I, I, I guess that's why I'm doing this. It's just I need something solid so I can be the kind of father I want to be. Well, that's, that's good. That's very good. Yeah, I, that's great, you know. Yeah. <clears throat> um, you know, well, what about you, Roger? You married? You got a wife? <sighs> well, Ben, I, I'm the other end of the scale. Uh, you're stepping up to the plate, and I'm still in the dugout. I uh, had a wife and young child, and I ran out on him many, many, many years ago. Came out here and ended up in the yellow prison here. Um, I'm sorry, Roger, that's, that's rough. Yeah, I miss having a family. It's just not in the cards, you know. Do you, uh, you ever see either of them? No, not at all. I don't know, man. That's, that's what I don't want. That's what I'm trying to avoid here, you know? That's great. Well, you're, you're doing the right thing. I, you know, I wish I could. I've kind of messed it up, and uh, it, it really draws on you after a while. And just things the way, you know, it, you're helpless. and. Um, you're taking care of it, and I'm proud of you. I mean, that's that's the way to do it. God, it's not going to be easy for you either, but uh, don't give up. I don't think you will. You look. That's why I, I really want you to be safe in this job. And that's before I knew all that, because uh, anything I can do, please let me know. Thanks, Roger. Shake. Good boy. Oh, good boy. Let's see here. Hi, 
Roger. Uh, oh, it's good to get a hold of you. I've been trying for a couple days, and uh, I've been thinking about you. Thought you'd want to know this. It's it's super hard to share. Um, it's kind of bad news, but uh, yeah, it's Michelle. Roger and Michelle died. She was in a tragic car accident, and yeah, she didn't make it. And um, I just wanted you to know. I wanted to reach out, and uh, I know things didn't go well when it all ended all those years ago. Um, but that was a long time ago, and uh, different now. And um, Stephen. Yeah, Stevens, he's married now, and um, he's got a little one on the way. Maybe you'd like to connect with him, and uh, I know I'd like to see you. So, would you would you think about coming and uh, the memorial service? <laughs> the memorial service is. Um, all days, and if you want the details, I'd love to talk with you. So give me a buzz if you can. Call me myself, uh, 303-404-1965. Goodbye. G goodbye, Roger. Hey man, um, you know, I'm sorry, but I'm actually not taking fares right now. I just got Give me the motherfucking money! Alright, relax. Jesus. You fucking hear me? Give me the fucking money! Alright, relax! You fucking hell, right. man! Roger, it's Ben. I. I. I just got robbed, Roger. I just. I. He came into the car and he had a gun and. Jesus, Roger, he stuck it in my face and. I, I, I didn't call the police. I didn't know what to do. I, I'm, I'm at Grand River and Turner and... I, Roger, I need your help. I, I, I don't know what I'm doing here. I, I... <sighs> fuck, Roger, fuck. What's going on? I don't know what happened, Roger. I don't know what happened. Are you all right? I'm fine, I'm fine. Roger. Come here. What happened? I was, I was sitting there, I was in the car, I just finished up. God damn Anything it. Anything I tell you, I, did you sink in at all? Yes, yes, yes. It wasn't like that. It was just, it was, everything was so fast. And Roger, I was there and I was That's doing my logs and then I, no one, and then he was there, and he had a gun in, right in my face. All right, I didn't you're know what okay. to do. Jesus you're Christ. You're okay. How much you lose? Uh, uh, two, 220. 220 bucks. Fuck, Roger, I'm gonna get fired. No, you're not. I want you to take this. This is 220. Uh, I can't. I want you to take this. Finish your night. Give your daughter a hug. And get the fuck out of here. Bruh. Nothing happened. Nothing. Go. Come on. Get out of here. Go on.
Jules, I had a problem last night. I got robbed. Roger, you've been with me for some 22 years. This is the first time I've heard of any robbery. Yes, and it scared the crap out of me. I, I was up in Northtown, and the guy just ran right up to the cab. I didn't even see him coming. Stuck a gun in my neck. Did you get a description of the guy? A black guy, dark blue coat, uh, had a patch either on this shoulder or this shoulder, an orange. I think I had my eyes shut after the gun hit me in the neck, you know. Did you call the cops? No, ma'am. Any damage to the car? No, ma'am. Lose any cash? Yeah, I lost $220 and change. Are you okay? A little shaky, but I'm okay. I'm okay. I need that 220 back, Roger. Okay. How can we make that happen? Yeah, I got my gambling buddies going to Detroit again, either today or tomorrow. And uh, if I take him up there, I can pretty well pay it back. Roger, I got you on the schedule for tomorrow. I'm going to have to have some help from you on that, you know. While you're in Detroit, what's our means of communication? How, are you, how am I going to hear from you? Phone, just call me. What are we going to tell the boys? Uh, I think we ought to tell them what happened, you know. I'll be the brunt of the jokes. But, I mean, I, that new guy, I just raked him up one side down the other about being careful. and happens to me. Yeah, maybe that'll take a little of the humor out of the board meetings, you know. Let's not make this a habit, Roger. No, no, ma'am. Do what you need to do. I'll see you. Be safe. Thank you. Roger, are you all right? I'm dying. <coughs> Roger, you said are you all right? I'm fine. I, I'm... You really don't have to do this, Roger. I know, but I don't want you to go through what I went through. Son, just... I just don't. I'm on Wolf Line or I'm a city Son, I got a couple hundred miles before my travel love is done When the stars start to shimmer on the Michigan Sure, when I come calling out your front door I wish I was Uh, yes, could I have a uh, cheeseburger with ketchup? Eh, make that two cheeseburgers with ketchup, and that'll be it. Uh, to go, please. Thank you. I guess I got a little laugh that's a hit me Sit. 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 I'll fight you for it. Woo. Sit. Okay. Good boy. Sit. Sit. Eat. Oh! Now you yell, Sip. Sip. Mama, would you know you had it on your foot? I thought you'd be jumping around, boy. You're just sleeping. Oh, it's for you. Oh, I'm sorry.
sorry he's not in. Uh, Just look at how Jim had lies. So far gone, look stuck in his eyes. He got all his bones, but he's broken his ties and he's alone. He's wound tighter than a garden hose A rolled ten dollar bill stuck in his nose He don't eat well, though he dress well So ain't that nice How long How long can you be lost with No one No one else is there can't come home can't come home Roger this is Julie thought we had a little agreement I thought we had worked it out that you would call me as soon as possible I need you back in Lansing as soon as possible you're out in Detroit doing God knows what. I need you here in Lansing. The shit is hitting the fan. I've got cabbies asking for all kinds of requests and I need you back here. I don't care what your excuse is, Roger. I need you to call me as we had agreed. My friend, you know who this is. And I need you back here. I don't care what your excuse is, oh. Roger. I need you to call me. Oh, God damn it, Jewel. Oh, hi. Hey, people say things they don't mean, son. I'm sorry. Don't talk like that at home. Yep. <laughs> But, I it's, know. but it's right. It is right, okay? Okay, I love right? you. Trust me on this, okay? okay. Hold on, young blood. Yes, just go on the highway and just, just head west, okay? Thank you. Please. I can't. I'm off duty. Well, get on duty, get on the highway, and head uh, uh, west. Uh, 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 Very simple instructions. Sh 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 sh. Easily Thank said. You. You're upsetting my buddy up here. You have a dog in your front seat? That's because I'm off duty. Asshole. Okay. Look, don't use that type of language in front of my wife, all right? Show some respect Paul, and some good right. manners. Paul, no, seriously, Paul. old man, you need to show some respect oh. and you need to apologize Paul. to her. Please. It's okay. it's okay. I apologize to her. Thank you. Okay. Sir, we just we just got married, and there's family troubles, and it's it's not a perfect situation right now, and. Babe, you know I love you. It's just, we need to get out of here. It's our only choice right now, and if you can't help us, we'll find another way, but please. Well, first of all, I apologize, you guys. I've got some stuff going on in my life, too, and I'd kind of like to get the hell out of town myself, so. You guys can put up with a dog, let him sleep. Get out of here. Thank you. Thank you. Well, some people say I'm smoking too much. Oh, yeah. It was good. We should, um, we should move out there. Yes, right there. Oh no, we got the jitters now. We're dancing all over, honey. Oh, thank you. I'll take that. No, no let us. Thank you. Let us take the bed. Please, let us have the honor of taking the bed. Rules of the road. I, I understand that, but you brought us all this way. Oh, it is the least. Are you sure? Yes. Everything's cool. Because we have money, we can do it. Yeah. Well, keep it. <laughs> All right. 
Fair enough. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Uh, before we go, I want to use the job. Okay. You okay? Okay. Thank you again for joining us. Oh, no problem. I'm, I'm really enjoying it. Fresh starts here. Yeah. So glad to see you smile. That feels good. Yeah. yeah. We haven't heard much about you though. Do you have family, wife, kids? No. It's been such a long time. Yeah, I've had a marriage that kind of went south. And I've got a son, he's probably close to mid thirties now. You wanna to talk to him? I've never seen him. Do you miss him then? Honey, every day. I think about him, what he's doing, who he could be. You know, we just ran off and I'm leaving my family now. I'm gonna miss them. But I feel it's right. I love him. And I dreamt about my wedding my whole life. And my parents didn't even get to be there. I dreamt all my life of being a pro ball player, and <laughs> <laughs> that didn't work out well at all. We have dreams, but uh, reality is the actual dream of the whole thing, you know? They didn't approve of him. Too tall, huh? <laughs> I wish. <laughs> no. He's too old for me. He's not white. It's just... He looks like he cares a lot. He does. He has a good heart. I really love it. Big him. mouth, too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. At times. Something I'm not used to. Yeah, he's a good guy. He's going to be a good father. I'm pregnant. We're going to have a baby. Congratulations, man. He doesn't know. I, don't, I haven't told him. I don't know if it'll change anything. You will. You guys are staying together. You know, you're just getting everything happening at once. You both are strong. Yeah. You know, strong armed your way into a cab, so you <laughs> should be able to do anything. He'll take on the world. He'll, he'll be happy. He will. So will you. Yeah. Maybe one day. My kid can meet their her grandparents. Is it? I've always, in my life, had the thought of when a door closes, the door opens. Yeah. Maybe we don't understand it when it happens, but it does. I hope your door is a damn good one, honey. Mm -hmm. Yours too. Thank you. Should we grab something for Scooter? She's a good girl. <laughs> Dog's gonna love you, honey. <laughs> Hey, Dennis, wait up. What's up, Larzo? Have you heard from Roger lately? I talked to him the other day. Is everything cool? Seems to be. Yeah. Said he'd be back three days a week. I don't know. I don't know if he's got something he had to do or just taking a break. I don't know. He's probably having a flashback. Oh, come on, man. My uncle was a non-vet. That's not cool. Well, 
Have you seen him? I haven't seen him. You sure he's okay? As far as I know. He's always here. And Penguin, she didn't tell us anything. It's not like him being gone this long. That's true. I think he just needed a break from Queen Mama or something. Well, I think we all do. Well, who doesn't? It's her vibe. Yeah, she's been yeah. on his ass with Ben and everything. You know, that's training. bullshit. He, she shouldn't be on him. And I'm getting tired of her shit. What are we going to do about it? I don't know. She's not talking to us. Well, He's gone. Let us know if you hear anything, okay? I will. If I hear from him, I'll let you guys know. All right. Thanks, man. Take care, guys. I told you, man. That vet shit's not cool. Roger. Dennis. Hey, bud, give me a call. Haven't heard from you. Wonder what's going up. Give me a call when you get a sec. I'm worried about you, my friend. Take care. Thank you so much for everything you've done. No problem, man. Appreciate it. Scooter and I want you guys to have a little wedding. Oh, no, we can't take that. You know you won't. Please, take it. You guys do something with that. Canada. Beautiful Canada. Place where young couple can have a new start. Might be the place to go. I mean, you live as long as you want. And never want as long as you live. I love you both, man. Thanks.
Okay, can I get you another? Hey, what can I get you? Uh, light beer. Let's, I'm going to change it. Let's go uh, double whiskey on the rocks. Okay, gotcha. Hey guys, it's past last call. I think it's time you start getting ready to head on out, okay? Hey baby, a couple shots over here. Fuck that bitch. Hey man, you got smoke? Yeah, dude. Sorry about that, man. I'm so sick and tired of that tonight, especially. We really had it. They've been extra, extra special customers. You know what I mean? Pisses me off. The bad part of the bar business. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I could use a break. Yeah, I'll hang around till they're out of here. Oh, you don't have to, but you know, if you don't mind. Oh, not a bit. That'd be great. You know, I've done this for, oh, I think I've been doing this all my life. It feels like it. The bar's been in our family for, oh, 35 or 40 years. My dad owned it. And after he passed away, I inherited it. And you know, I've 
really for the most part, it's been a great life, but there are times like this where you just, you just want out. Yeah. Or you want away, you need a break. Yeah, just to yeah. change. Maybe just a vacation would be good. Yeah, I've had just about enough. Good on the drink? Oh yeah, yeah, good stuff. Where are you from? Lansing, Michigan. Where's Lansing? Michigan. Yeah. <laughs> Lansing. And where'd you say you were headed? My upstate New York. Business? Funeral. Oh. Well, I'm sorry. Yeah, so am I. It's kind of a more of an ex-family, because I... It's my ex-wife. She passed away. You guys good friends? Oh, not for about 36 years. Oh. What made you decide to go to the funeral? Just tying up loose ends, I guess. I can understand putting closure on. So did you say you had a dog in the car? Oh, yeah. A little Beagle Blue Tick named Scooter. Oh, nice. He's my traveling buddy. I've known him a long time. I, mm -hmm. I picked him up in a, a abuse kennel. Oh, I don't see a rescue any, dog. Yeah, I don't see how anybody could hurt the little thing, but he... No, I hear you. Whenever I see those commercials on TV, oh. it breaks my heart. Yeah, and he, he, they should have shot a picture of him because he, he looked like a bobblehead. He had a great big head on him, little skinny body. And you could see where he had welts on him. No Somebody way. Heard him. Oh, a little swollen up eye. Oh, you're kidding. And uh, I'd taken some people out there, and they were looking around, and all the crowd went by, and this little thing comes just could hardly walk. He's limping up the side of the, the cage and he came right up to me and he put his head on the cage and I took him home. <laughs> You're a big man, Roger. Oh, he, oh, honey, he would have broke your heart. I mean, it's just, oh. It's, she doesn't know. That was hilarious, though. Play a fucking jukebox. Just a second. I'm sorry. No problem. Hey, you guys. Don't bother putting money in the jukebox. It's too late. Hey, how about no, don't bother don't talking now? Shut the fuck up. Get us a couple shots. We're gonna play some fucking songs. Get the hell out of my bar. Whoa. <laughs> Seriously? I'll yeah. tell you what. We're gonna play some songs. You get a shots. I will fuck you. I will pull out. You can finish me off. How's that? You're not man enough. Get your ass out of my Shut bar. The fuck up. Hey, fuck assholes. Bitch. Time to go. Come on. It's Put back God, the finger dude. in your barmaid, old man. It's fucking God, dude. Come on. Don't say words you can't spell, kid. Oh. Ow. Oh, he's fucking serious. Who the fuck are you? Smack him! Smack him! Smack him! Smack him! Smack him! God fuck you, bitch! You're funny. Why you so like was in the bottom of the bottom? It was 24 7 every minute. Oh, you didn't actually. On a different evening, scared to death. Yeah. Spidey sense. Nope, nobody's here. God, a bunch of assholes. This must be Scooter. Yep, yep, that's my oh. boy. Oh, hi, buddy. Hi, look at you. Hey, sweet boy. Hey. Wow. Hey, that's my best buddy right there. Yeah, I can see why. Hey, I don't really feel like being alone right now. Would you like to come over for a drink? Sure. I'd love it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Drive like a wild woman, dude. <laughs> Why do you say that? You've lost me twice. <laughs> Come on, baby. Sorry about that. Whoops. So Come boring. on in, Scooter. Yeah. What's the door? Oh. <laughs> I'll go this way. Don't <laughs> Ah, you are ginger. <laughs> hey, would you like something to drink? Oh, yes. Okay. All I have is light beer. Is oh, good. Okay? Deja vu. Okay, good. Thank you. Toast? 
We'll be right back. Thank you. See you in a bit. piece to me. Um, I had a daughter who passed away and um, we used to collect beach glass and I, after she passed I thought I'd use it to make something beautiful and actually she um, loved daisies too so. Oh God, honey, yeah. that's, that's great. Thanks. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that is. Um, hey, you want to come in the living room? Sure. Okay. like a river I was meant to walk beside She don't need to watch how she walks She don't know how I feel inside I could never tell her for fear that I'd fail Fear she could take the wind Right out of my sail So she don't know how I feel inside Just break my code of silent tongues. I'd be sure to speak volumes that spark fires in her mind. Einstein could play the violin either. John! <laughs> Marshall. <laughs> John! Marshall. Well, that reminds me of last night.
<laughs> yes, we were. <laughs> hey, kiddo. How you doing? Good. I missed you. That's my girl. You good? <laughs> you are so late. You were like an hour late. An hour, Ben? Really? I was ten minutes late. Don't I you think I'm worried already, about her? Didn't I? Yeah, but you gotta be here on time. I mean, this happens all the time. It does not happen yes, all the time. Yes, it I does. have a lot to do, okay? Listen, I I take care of her all the time, okay? Except for this one week. Yeah, I know you do. And so and I get to see her once a week. I'm and sorry that's that it. I'm not going right along with your schedule. I was a little bit late. You no, know, one time it would be nice if she was here and I got to spend the whole time with her. Babe, we're gonna be late. Hey, you know what? Don't even bring him next time, okay? Excuse me? You said don't bring him next time and you don't be smoking around my kid. Fuck yourself. Don't say that around her either. Don't ever say that around her. Okay? <laughs> Let's go. Whatever. Douchebag. I'm sorry. I missed you. Ta-da! Hey. Wow. Look at you. Customize the old cars, too, girl. Yeah, I guess they do. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> so I guess the scenes are all set to go? Yeah. Like Trick tie. tie. <laughs> I'm gonna miss you. I'm gonna miss you too. Yeah. How long have we been gone? A couple of days. I think I can wait that long. Got a little favor to ask you though. Yeah? Can you watch Scooter while I'm gone? Yeah, I'd love to. But you sure you trust me with him? Oh yeah. Trust you with my Scooter. <laughs> gonna miss you. Gonna miss you too. Hey, uh, Julie, you got a minute? Come here. I love you, baby. You're a good boy. Okay. You're a good boy. You'll be a good boy. <sighs> Only two days. Okay. Okay? Roger, this is Julie. Ben just stopped by and gave me the whole story. Roger, I don't know why you haven't called, I don't know where you are, but I need you back. We've been together 22 years, and I just need you to come back home. We miss you. I miss you. Give me a call, Roger. Thanks. Drive safe. Take care. Two days.
I'd like to begin today by thanking you all for coming. I know that it can be hard in times of tragedy to find the strength that's surrounded by our friends, but we find it in each other, a family, and our community. When a family member and a loved one is taken from us so suddenly and so tragically, we're left with a lot of questions, questions of why, questions of how do I feel and what do I say? I found a verse which I think may help us with that. It's from Ecclesiastes chapter 3. To everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven, a time to be born and a time to die a time to plant, and a time to pluck up that which is planted, a time to kill, and a time to heal, a time to break down, and a time to build up. And although I didn't know Michelle personally, I can tell by each and every one of you here today that she was very special. She touched each and every one of you deeply. And that's something that you can never lose. I'd like to take a moment now, if you will, for a moment of silence. Thank you. Thank you all for coming. If you'd like to do your condolences now, it would be an appropriate time. At one time, Father, pretty well, pretty well. Yeah, I hear she was a very good woman. If you'd like to take a few moments, I'd appreciate it. Oh, thank you.
Ah. Uh -huh.